X-Cubed is an investor and an accelerator. So we invest in early stage startups, primarily at the seed stage, and we provide them with funding as well as the technical and advisory resources necessary for them to scale their businesses. NextCube's role in the I2 grant challenge was to support the applicants along their journey throughout the program. It's a $1 million milestone-based grant challenge that lasts about 12 months and includes uh, grant funding and specialized mentorship. It's really based off the thesis that we can do the most good and advance the most public health benefit by helping innovations scale and succeed and reach sustainability. And so we believe that your zip code, your age, your race, your um, gender shouldn't affect your life expectancy. NextCubed facilitated weekly sessions for the, for the founders um, to help them along their entrepreneurial journey. What we tried to do is make sure that all of the organizations going through the program were positioning their innovation in the best light and had a, a business model and a, uh, an infrastructure to support that, that scale. Being a part of this process has been very empowering, really looking to see how how I would gain a better understanding behind the scenes with, with an organization as, as renowned as Alliance Healthcare Foundation and seeing if, really, if I could really make a difference. Having the opportunity to be in the process in a very intimate way and having leaders from a large organization like Alliance really look to us for our knowledge, for our feedback, for our lived experience on deciding where a million dollars goes. That was something that is not usual. It is not common. My experience with Alliance Healthcare and NextCube has been unique. Um, I really can't compare it to other organizations other than they have proven to be sensitive to the community's needs. They took the time to develop relationships with us and with the applicants. Very few organizations, Alliance being one of the few, that actually puts funding where their mouth is. So they came out and, and, and selected a couple of resident leaders in the communities that needed the resources and services the most. And they listened, and they listened, and that's the difference. So that says a lot about the organization itself. And working with uh, NextCube, it was, it was a seamless process. They were doing all of the technical work and the coordination, but they were in the cut, if you would. They weren't pushy, they weren't overly critical about anything. It was literally seamless. And I think when you have that sort of a technical support, that's what you want. So Project New Village is a small community-based nonprofit working on addressing the issue of food insecurity in southeastern San Diego. So what made this experience unique with uh, Alliance Healthcare Foundation? One is the duration. You know, I'm a nonprofit, so we write grants all the time, and no one has this long incubation period that's so helpful. So this last year, we participated in coaching sessions facilitated by NextCube, and now we feel really empowered. There was planning, there was marketing, there were steps that we could follow, there were models that we could use, and we had a wonderful coach. He was really good for us. He wasn't shy to say, that's not good, or to try again. And he stayed there every week uh, working with us, and it was just the best. Urban Restoration Counseling Center is an organization that provides mental health services to people of color by people of color. We entered the I2 Challenge hoping that we would mainly be recognized as an organization that is doing really good things in the community. I was a little bit nervous, um, but we were encouraged to just go ahead and try it anyways. And thank goodness we did, because usually you apply for a grant and you just wait to hear back yes or no. Um, but I too, they were so hands-on in helping us get to the end of this process. They gave us all the tools we needed. NextCube taught us what a business is supposed to look like. <laughs> As coming from a bunch of therapists, we just wanted to be able to provide the service to the community. Running a business was not our strong suit, but NextCube came in and they really taught us how to formulate things from a business perspective, taught us how to 
um, approach situations with a more business-like mind, not our therapeutic brains that want to just talk about feelings, <laughs> but really gave us the opportunity to learn how to sharpen our skills as business owners. We believe Alliance Healthcare's approach to the I2 grant challenge has the opportunity for all of us within both the for-profit and not-profit world to rethink how we're structuring our investment. Engagement is something that we at NextCube, they're super excited about. And we hope that other foundations adopt this same process of really thinking about not just what they can provide financially, but what other ways they can add value to the organization. Next Cube, keep up the good work, man. You guys are doing it. You're knocking it out of the park. You're, you're great partners and, and the seamless portion is, is that's what's important to me. Supporting efforts like this, you are contributing to the health in their communities. Next Cube was, like I said in the beginning, amazing. Yeah, I think that, you know, by the example that has been shown here and the wins that you're doing a good job. I, I just continue more of that, you know, cultural responsive scope and uh, keep it going. We needed to get to another level and we didn't have the skill set to get there. This match is allowing us to have our dream come true in southeastern San Diego.